The night team's Jessica Arp has continuing coverage of a bill proposed in the legislature last year. While well, Conservation Congress meetings in 72 counties tonight are considering a list of items, we went to Sauk County's meeting where a crane hunt hits close to home. I like to hunt on everything and fish on everything. John Hilmer comes every year to Sauk County's Conservation Congress meetings. This year, he wants to weigh in on a possible Sand Hill crane hunt. Well, I think it'd be possible that uh, they should have a separate license and maybe a separate tag. Hilmer says he remembers when populations of the crane were low, but now sees the larger populations doing damage to crops, pulling out corn plants in farmers' fields. They're doing damage in certain areas, and then we'll have uh, controlled areas that they would do more hunting in that would uh, benefit the farmers and agricultural. But Baraboo is also home to the International Crane Foundation, and crane researcher Ann Lacey says a hunt may not be necessary. A crop damage issue is not a, a good reason to hunt cranes because it won't solve the problem. Um, we have been working with the manufacturer to develop a crane deterrent. It's a chemical that farmers can put on corn. That is a true solution to the crop damage problem. The issue came up last year after a state lawmaker proposed a hunting season on the bird and the bill went nowhere. The Conservation Congress vote is advisory. If it comes up again, then they'll have something to go on. They'll see what the, a lot of people think. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if we can get five or six to maybe even 7,000 people to vote on it tonight, they'll have an idea of what, you know, people in the state think about hunting cranes. Hilmer says he'd give it a try and thinks others would too. It's just an opportunity to, to experience something different. They do it in other states and that's uh, something where you could actually learn and it's a totally different experience that other people might enjoy. The vote tonight by the Conservation Congress members is only advisory, meaning it isn't a proposed rule change, but it will give a look at the opinions of the five to 7,000 members that were expected to attend across the state tonight. And so Jess, when will we know the results then? Well, usually they're tallied in a couple of days. We could know as soon as tomorrow evening sometime, but we definitely should know more on people's opinions on this by later this week. All right, we'll keep folks updated. Jess, thanks a lot.